I'm Bob Sebatis. I cover uh, all of Wayne County and Washtenaw County for the iron workers. I started as a, a iron worker apprentice in uh, 1979. Yes, I did three years of apprenticeship school. Well, as Local 25 iron workers, we belong to the building trades and the job went to a, a, a PLA, which is, a, is an agreement between the building trades and the unions. I thought it was uh, new, uh, past due for a, a new arena in Detroit. Well, my feelings were good feelings after it was announced because uh, it put uh, about 200 iron workers together and 51% of them uh, were Detroit residents and uh, it, it created a lot of man hours uh, for our local and our members' uh, pensions and uh, health and welfare and, and uh, medical, dental, you name it, uh, vacation checks. I mean, uh, you know, there were some young kids on that job never even got a vacation check before, but Local 25, you know, we have a vacation fund and the kids, you know, Christmas time they got a, a check for a couple thousand dollars for Christmas. Well, the city council has to, uh, it has to be a unanimous vote to even approve anything built in the city of Detroit. You know, like uh, Chris Illich might have, or excuse me, Mike Illich was still alive when the arena was being built. Sorry to say that he died before the topping out of the new stadium, but I mean, all of Detroit City Council has to approve, and uh, you know, uh, it it was funded by by Mike, uh, Mike Illich. He put up the money for it, and uh, it just created a lot of jobs downtown that are still going on. It is that once they built the LCA, the city of Detroit had a plan. They call that the District of Detroit, right there by Campus Marsh, and I mean. Uh, you got uh, uh, the Illages flipped a lot of money for it. You know, the city put money in. Uh, you, uh, after uh, Little Caesars headquarters, you, uh, after the Little Caesars arena, they built Little Caesars headquarters. From Little Caesars headquarters, Mike Illage donated money to Wayne State University and built the Wayne State uh, uh, School of College of uh, Business. So that went on, and then uh, all the parking decks, and they're, uh, on the old Hudson site, they're building a 56-story skyscraper, and the way the floors are laid out, it's gonna be taller than the Renaissance Center, even though the Renaissance Center is 70 stories, but just the distance on the floors, it's gonna make it taller than uh, the Renaissance Center. You got an 18 story on uh, Jefferson Avenue and uh, 375 is going to uh, have a 18 story Myers. You're gonna have a Myers food store and then 18 stores of, uh, of uh, apartments. They're gonna, they're right now in the process of tearing uh, the new Detroit uh, jail down that never got finished because of a glitch. Um, running out of money, the city of Detroit running out of money, and uh, uh, they're gonna tear that down. They're gonna close off 375 and backfill it with, uh, with uh, dirt and continue building that way from the city north. Um, they're building a new practice facility between 2nd and 3rd Street near West Grand Boulevard. They're putting up a new cancer research center um, for Henry Ford's Hospital on West Grand Boulevard. Um, they're gonna tear down Joe Lewis Arena, build a 30-story convention center. And there, there's rumor of talking about adding on to uh, Cobo Hall. There's um, um, Monroe Blocks, it's between uh, Campus Marsh and um, uh, Greektown Casino. It's gonna be like five blocks. There's gonna be a 30 story, two 18 stories, and then four eight stories. 
that's going to be one block long. And then on the other side, uh, you got um, Wayne, um, Wayne Community College is building, uh, I think it's close to like $500 million uh, uh, gymnasium for the college. That's, uh, they I just went to a groundbreaking for that. That's gonna get ready to go. Uh, all them old buildings in Detroit are getting renovated. They're putting new stairwells, new elevators. Uh, I mean, I've been in some of them old buildings in Detroit and uh, I didn't realize the craftsmanship and the beauty, uh, you know, the old wood. And it's, it's just unbelievable what some of them buildings are. And I'm glad they didn't tear them down because the younger people could see, you know, how, the, you know, how they looked in there, you know, making it look like it did in the 1930s and, and 40s, you know. And uh, if you look at old pictures of uh, downtown Detroit, it was a happening place back in the 30s and 40s. Ooh.